So, there's like a winter storm warning while I'm filming this. We're supposed to get 8 to 9 inches of snow today, and there's people slipping on the ground all over the place rather than into my DMs for the first time. Luckily, if I end up without heat or the power goes out, I have a huge layer of fur to keep myself warm. So, while I'm snowed in, I feel like it would be a great opportunity to get a video in. When you join the fandom, everything is sunshine and rainbows, right? Well, there's a bit more to it than that. Like, at least 300 more things, I think. Foxes aren't very good at counting. So when you join the fandom, you come across a huge network of caring, fluffy people. You know, the people who got your back when things are looking grim. Like, when you're trapped inside a snowstorm. Well, there are ways to send an Uno reverse card to other furries. What I mean is, you can completely botch friendships and lose any self-respect if you go about doing these things. In other words, today's video is about how to lose your furry card. And yes, before anybody says anything, I know there isn't an actual thing as a furry card, but for real. If any of you got one, send one my way. I've been waiting for one for four years. Your furry card is pretty much not only your self-respect, but the respect you have towards other furries in this community of animal people. So let's get into today's video before I freeze to death in my apartment. The first thing you can do to lose your furry card is to bombard people's DMs or direct messages. There's nothing that makes me or other furries get their anxiety levels higher than a spam of highs or hellos. Hellos? 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 There are so many ways to start a conversation with furries or anybody online. I am not going to get super in depth on this one cause there's like a gazillion videos out there that cover it much better than I can. But to quickly sum it up, don't just headbutt your way into somebody's messages. A simple introduction about why you're messaging them to begin with would be totes nice. It's kind of like if somebody put a sheet of music in front of you and told you to guess what song it was, but there was only one note left on the page. It would be confusing, and unless you're somebody like Mozart, you'd probably just move on and cry uncontrollably under your desk. Not necessarily in that order. Before I finish this part, I just wanted to point out that yes, the fandom does kind of do this frequently. It's not fair of me to generalize all furries for being guilty of this, so it's not the absolute worst way to lose your furry card. But please, for the love of God, don't just reload your hello cannons and start firing away. This next one is more in line for how to lose your furry card and do it directly. Like, straight to jail, do not pass go. Be honest. If you're posting something online, don't fluff it up too much. It might not be immediate, but people will find out eventually. Social media is very easy to manipulate what you want others to see. All too often, we get obsessed over follower counts, subscribers, whatever. But if you post something that's a straight up lie, not only are you lowering your standards, you lower the standards others have of you if you're found out. I've seen a few furries try this out, get caught, and ultimately either disappear off social media altogether, or end up dealing with this baggage for the rest of their time in the fandom. They might even end up leaving the fandom. It can take a long time to build respect in the fandom, and it can be torn down in an instant. If you have a GoFundMe for a legit, honest to god reason, then go for it. But if you're trying to fund your diamond encrusted Gucci fursuit, with a sad sob story, then miss me with that. Other furries and I ain't got time for that. I've seen people fake actual hospital trips or emergencies, get caught, and then end up getting burned by the fandom. Y'all ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? This is how you end up being the crying wolf boy. So yeah, don't do this. The next one is about theft of the character variety. A big part of being a furry is having a persona, your awesome, lovable character that just becomes a part of who you are. For a lot of people, me included, our personas are ingrained into a part of who we are. When somebody comes by and just yoinks your character and starts using it as their own, that's when the trouble can start. I've seen this typically done with traditional art, like profile pictures, references, and, <laughs> 
even the profiles themselves. Just don't do it. It's akin to identity theft, which is like a whole other separate can of worms, but yeah. The whole thing reminds me of the seagulls from Finding Nemo. You know, the ones that say mine all the time. Don't be a seagull. Our personas are a unique part of how we interact with others in the fandom. Notice the keyword there, unique. Look. <laughs> I know, with the whole color palette out there, there's bound to be some furries who look alike. Misunderstandings and just luck of the draw can have a big impact. Additionally, there may be some cases where this is committed by those who just didn't know that this isn't an okay thing to do. I'm not here to look down on people making mistakes. Hell, I've made mistakes before in the past. It's when you don't learn from your mistakes and you just keep doing it anyway, it becomes a problem. Oops, sorry for stealing your artwork. I totally won't do it again. Ugh, y'all are so mean. This fandom sucks. I'm going to quit forever. Don't be that furry. So this next one is dummy obvious, but I just have to throw it out there. Don't, don't, don't do anything illegal. I'm not gonna cover what those activities are cause I've said like one cuss word and Big Daddy YouTube is already frowning down upon me. But if it's something that could get you in trouble with law enforcement, please, for the love of fluff, don't. Not only do you have to deal with pretty much getting disowned by the fandom, you more importantly have to deal with the legal ramifications. That's... yeah. Obey the law and have a great time in the fandom. Or else. So that last one was heavier than my suitcase after a trip to the dealer's den. So the last way you can lose your furry card is to not keep in mind who your audience is. The fandom is a really accepting place, but even that has its limits. What I mean is if you're of age and engaging in any extracurricular activities, keep it in the appropriate locations. The location isn't just a physical one either. It doesn't have to be at a convention. It can also apply to social media, like messages on Telegram, or whatever app you happen to be using. It could even be a website, like Fur Affinity, whatever. Pay attention to the policies of wherever you are at, and you should be golden. If it is an all ages kind of thing, then make sure that whatever you're doing is aligned with that. It's super simple and really easy to follow, but for whatever reason, some furries don't like to read policies. Look, I'm like the first person who scrolls down and hits accept on any agreement without reading into it. But no, you cannot use the excuse, I'm an animal and can't read. The fandom is probably the most accepting group of people I could ever hope to meet. With that though, you end up sometimes blurring the lines of what's considered acceptable. So when in doubt, read the fine print, the convention rules, or whatever before you just go for it. So especially for conventions, a lot of the time you have to travel there. There's a huge amount of downtime before actually attending, unless you actually live right by the convention. So why not use that downtime constructively and brush up on what the local policies are for that con? I usually read what the websites posted while driving to the con. Well, not actually while I'm driving, but when I'm the passenger in the car. It takes like three minutes and saves a lifetime of regret. So yeah, that's how to not lose your furry card. I know, there's many other ways out there, and I just scratched the surface. If any of y'all can think of other ways to lose your furry card, let me know in the comments below. It doesn't have to be serious either. It could totally be a minor oopsie too. Hopefully it can help out those who are just joining or even seasoned veterans who might have missed something. We're all a part of this special group that's so full of care and hope. So why not pass on some of these helpful tips? If any of y'all like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up on its furry card. And while you're at it, maybe even subscribe. I'd like to give a huge plus one to the following Gold Egg patrons furry cards. Apollo Bunny, Archie Fur, Cinder Kitten, Dynamo, Dexo, D.H. Emerith Cantonine, Funtime Wolf, Jax Shepard, Lindsay, Moodle, and Richard Wren. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. And also a huge thank you to all of my other patrons as well. If any of you want to consider becoming a patron, check me out on the link down below. 
And with that, I will see you all on next week's video. Bye.